years. Folks are coming back into the labor market, but they're just not finding jobs. Employment requirements and new claims for state unemployment insurance jumped to the highest level. People employed in big cities are effectively working six days a week because of their low commute. Considering cutting 20% of this workforce as they face this possible chapter 11. Let's face it. Unemployment is a constant threat. Entire industries are downsizing. The stock market is as unstable as ever. And it's not over. One of the richest men in America, Warren Buffett, said it best. This downturn could last eight years. What? You won't be affected? You are beyond the problems in the economy? Let me ask you a question. If you lost your job tomorrow, and I don't care if you're a CEO, dental hygienist, or plumber, if you lost your job tomorrow and couldn't find work for, say, eight weeks, would you have enough money to survive? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, what if it took you 16 weeks, 52 weeks? If the answer is no, guess what? You need to make more money now. This is not rocket science. It is reality. And according to the statistics, it is the reality for the majority of North Americans. Because if you run out of money in a slow economy, you will suffer. Your family will suffer. Your kids will suffer. But you've got a great job, right? You are recession-proof, right? Wrong. I don't care who you are or what you do. In a weak economy, the rules change. Because, let's face it, if you work for somebody else, if you have a job, how secure can you possibly be? Think about it. If they find someone faster than you, cheaper than you, you are out of a job. So, what are your options? Option number one, go out and get a second job. Sure, why not? But chances are, you won't even make enough to pay the taxes, the additional child care, or even the extra mileage on your car. And that's if you can even find a job. Option number two, sit back and do nothing. You've got a 401k. Okay, you could always relax and rely on that 401k. And that was a great plan. But have you checked it lately? Don't forget, that money. Your money is not sitting in some magic vault where it gets sprinkled with 8% pixie dust. It's in the stock market, the risk market. And guess what? When the market goes down the tubes, your money goes down with it. Option number three, start your own business. Great. Of course, first of all, you'll have to lease an office, buy a phone system, sign contracts, get a CPA, letterhead, inventory, warehouse space, and oh yeah, employees. That sounds like fun, right? And with 95% of small businesses going out of business the first year, good luck. Or, of course, you could buy a franchise, a proven system, marketing tools, training, good option. If you've got 100000 to a million in cash lying around, you could become a freelancer or independent contractor. Great if you have a marketable skill and the patience to be salesperson, bookkeeper, and collections manager. Bottom line, starting a business from scratch is tough, hard, risky work. But owning your own business is the only way to take control back. The only way to control your time, cash flow, and quality of life. Those people out on the golf course at 11 a.m. on a Thursday. The people fishing with their kids at 3 p.m. on a Tuesday. The people driving the Mercedes and Porsches. Chances are, those people own their own business. And the good news, you can too. Look, this country was founded on freedom, but it was built on small business. Working for someone else, be it a corporation or the government, is a relatively new phenomenon. Owning your own business, being your own boss, that is the American dream. So, what are the options for the rest of us? What kind of business can the average person get involved in with little or no capital investment, with little or no business experience or expertise, part-time or full-time? A business that will give you a chance to make some real money, whatever that means to you. Whether that means $1,000 extra a month, $1,000 extra a week, or 
even a six-figure income. Let's face it, money changes everything. It changes the car you drive, the vacations you take, the school your kids go to. And when you are the boss, your life changes dramatically. You decide when you want a pay raise. You decide when you work, what time you get up, what you wear. You decide, not them. Bottom line, you can do it. You can take control of your life. Find out more about this business, a business that you could own, that you could start part-time with no employees, no headaches, and not a lot of money. Let's face it. You can live in fear of the economy, or you can control the economy. It's your choice. What is your plan B? You may not have as much time as you think, but whatever you do, do something, because the government isn't going to save you. Your boss isn't going to save you. It's up to you.